you yeah. feel a connection to Russia? Because you are Russian, properly Russian. Well, I'm half Russian. My mum's London, yeah. um, West Ham, actually. So I'm properly West Ham as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more yeah. filming in Russia. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh... <laughs> um, so, yeah, my dad was born in Russia, yeah. He came when uh, he was two years old, grew up here, but he was born in Russia, yeah. Because you know, your name, I mean, you were born with a proper Russian name, which I can't Miranov, say. Yes, yeah. Yeah, Miranov, and yes. Yeah, Miranov, yes. Ilyana. Well, actually, Helen, but Ilyana is a, a yeah, yeah. Russian version of that, yeah. And I heard you talking about your household, that it was quite Russian growing up. Like, there wasn't... Apparently, Russian, I didn't know this, that there's not much small talk. In no, Russia. you don't have small talk in, in a Russian house. So, what do you talk about? You talk about the soul, and you talk <laughs> about, you know, is there God, and you talk about deep philosophical stuff. So, when I sort of grew up and, and left home, I, I found it almost impossible. I would have found it impossible to sit here. Uh, and not talk about really heavy stuff, you know. We'll get to that. Well, we will, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I hosted it, it was a bit... Like... <laughs> <laughs> I was doing a great job, but it, we yeah, went a little yeah. deeper than this little town. <laughs> <laughs> what a time to be Kingsley Benadir. Woo. I mean, it's, I mean, honestly, just well done you. It's amazing. But it's all, it's all happening. And what's about... So you went from... You know, the classic kind of, you know, working British actor. You would a recurring role in Vera, Piggy Blinders. Yeah. But, you know, and people do that, but then you've gone on to play these big American icons. Uh, you know, Barack Obama in The Comey Rule, and then Malcolm X in One Night in Miami. So, yeah. I suppose for any British actor watching this, how does that happen? How do you, <laughs> how do you make that? Did one person see you, or did I you go out in America and just wait? How did it happen? I don't know. I feel like the last few months has been really trippy. I feel, I feel like, you know, shooting Barack and then working with Regina it happened so suddenly. It was such a whirlwind. And, you know, I had just a couple of weeks to prepare and someone had pulled out and there wasn't really much time to sort of, like, think about it. It was mm. just like, shit, you got to crack on and, and dive in and just get on with it. It's only sort of as the films come out and we're in lockdown and, you know, uh, I, yeah. It, I, it's it's been it's, it's it's been a bit intense. Yeah. But, yeah. Also, like Americans must be thinking it's so weird when they see you on chat shows because they have no idea that you're English. Well, I've never been on a chat show. This is the first chat show I've been <gasps> on. So, uh, yeah, I've never been on a chat show before. And okay, I... this is weird. Reggie John Page played you on Saturday Night Live <laughs> on last Saturday, and you have never been on a show. That was so trippy, man. <laughs> My... <laughs> someone, someone, someone sent me a link to this thing. I woke up on Sunday morning and they were like, you've been mentioned on SNL. And then I clicked it and I was like, it's this guy from Bridgerton doing an impression of me on, like, <laughs> mainstream American television. And then he, and he mentioned, like, I think he said, like, yeah, I'm from Kentish Town, innit? And I was <laughs> like, oh, OK, that's, that's obviously, like, what I sound like. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, I've been in Kentish Town my whole life. Oh, wow. Much, yeah. So, well, uh, Americans, uh, he's British. There you go. Yeah. Now you know. Now you know. <laughs>